Hi, I'm Dr. William Starziak, and in this video, I'm going to talk about balanced ligamentous tension technique. This is an approach used in osteopathy to address the consequences of injuries, and it's specifically aimed at addressing those consequences that show up in the ligaments. So the role of the ligaments is to create the context for the joint, to sustain the neutral position of the joint, and to check excessive motion. When there's an injury, the integrity of the ligaments is altered. So some can become looser and some can become relatively tighter. So this change in the tension will then change the neutral position of the joint. Uh, an easy way to understand this is if you look at the ankle and you consider someone who's rolled their ankle, uh, where you know it's if this is you're looking at someone's right foot head on, if they rolled it this way, where the outer ligaments got stretched, after that injury, those ligaments would most of the time be loose. Sometimes the body will tighten it back up all the way, but in many cases, that ankle will stay loose. And if you talk to someone who's bad, had a bad ankle sprain, they'll tell you that it's easier to then sprain it again because the ankle is tending into that direction because these lateral ligaments are loose and the neutral position of the ankle is changed. And then this will affect up through the leg to the low back. Very commonly in my practice, I see people coming in for back pain and their, their major injury is a bad ankle sprain that was years before the back pain came on. And it's because everything is connected through the ligamentous and fascial systems as, as well as through the muscular, but really the fascia is what blends it all together, these big sheets of connective tissue and they, they blend into the ligaments. So if with balanced ligamentous tension technique, we're taking a joint to its point of, of preference, to this position where once you get it there, if you offer any other change of motion, nothing is more preferred than that one position. It's like if you had a, a ball and you're rolling it on a surface and then in that surface, there's a dip and a little circular groove. Well, that ball is going to want to settle into that little groove. And if you roll it up the hill and let it go, it'll go back down. That's what it feels like when uh, I get a hold of a joint and I'm feeling for the ease and where it wants to go. The new neutral position is right where the joint wants to go to with the least resistance, the greatest ease. And then once we get it there, there's a few different options for activating forces to uh, accelerate the release. And then when it releases, the body pulls it back towards neutral. And it's a, it's a palpable phenomena that occurs. And typically this is needed to be done at least two times if we get a hold of the injury right away. Um, we do one and then maybe follow up a couple weeks later. If it's an older injury that's led into, you know, some other problem like an ankle sprain, 10 years later it becomes back pain. Well, then we usually need a few more treatments based closer together and then some uh, follow-up going out. But really the best thing is to just come in right after the injury. It's, it's so easy to take care of. And it's important to then not re-injure the ligament for three months because it will be going back to its normal strength. The body will, over time, reinforce it with more collagen and it gets back up to pre-injury levels at about three months. So if you have any more questions about BLT, uh, you can contact me at 317-410-9978. You can call or you can text that number. Go ahead, check out my website. It's www.drstarsiak.com. Check out my other videos. I'll have links in the corner, one to subscribe, one for other recommended videos. And also, if you have any questions or things you want to hear about, leave it in the comments. You know, Tell me your thoughts, and that'll help inform what other sorts of videos I do. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you're having a great day.